my both kids. I'm sorry? I killed my both kids. They are died. I, die. I, will, I kill my both kids. Ma'am, do you need the police? Yeah, come, please, send. Ma'am, I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm saying I killed my both kids. They are dead. Is someone trying to get into your apartment? No, I killed them. Ma'am, do you need the police? Yeah. What's the address? The phone number comes, you know the address. Ma'am, what is your name? Taika. What's going on there? I killed them. I killed both of them. You killed both of them? Yeah, I killed my both kids. Did you kill something or did you break something? I killed my kids. My children. I killed my I killed my children. Children. You killed your children? Yeah, I killed them. Both of them. How did you do that, ma'am? I don't know. I just killed them. Where how old are your children? Three and six. Three and what? Ma'am? Yes. Well, how old are your children? Three and six. I killed them. Three and six? I killed both of them. Hello? Hello, ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Yeah, I, I want killed both of them, I told you. Okay, I understand. Stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. What did you kill your children with? I killed with a... What did you use? Did you use a gun? Did you use a knife? No, it's a wire. I use a wire on their neck. You use what, dear? Wire, wire on their neck. You use wire on their neck? Yeah. What kind of wire? I don't know. They are not doing anything. They are just blue and they are like, they are not taking any breath and they are, uh, their heart is not beating. They okay, are... they're both blue? Yeah. with me, okay? Okay. What is your name? Can you spell me your first name? Saika Akhtar. My name is Saika Akhtar. Okay, spell me your first name. S-A-I-Q-A. S-A-I-Q-A? Is that your first name? Yes. What is your last name? My last name Akhtar. A-K-H-T-E-R. Okay. Are you at 3331 Esther's number 2106? Yes. Where are your children now? What room are they in? They are in my room. They're in your bedroom? Yeah. Are they on the floor or on the bed? On the bed. Both are on my bed. Don't hang up, okay? Okay. I know the police will come to pick me. Okay, why did you do this? They both are normal, non normal. They are autistic. Both are autistic. Both are what, dear? Autistic. I don't want my kid to be like that. They're both autistic? I don't want, I want normal kids. Okay, well just stay with me and talk to me, okay? Okay. Where did you get the wire? It's from my apartment somewhere. First I tried to give them uh, the bathroom cleaner. I put it in their mouth, but they don't bring it. I want them to bring it. They don't bring it. So there's a wire near. So I just grab their neck and then I try so many times and then they are no more. Okay. Are you and the children the only one in the house? Yeah, my husband's in the office. I already called him. You already called your husband? Is he at work? Yeah, he's coming, maybe. Okay, just stay on the phone with me, okay? Okay. And your husband was at work when you called him, all right? Is that correct? I just called him. Okay, but he was at work, correct? Yeah, maybe he's coming. Okay, okay, well just stay with me, okay? What are you doing now? I wash my hands.
you're washing your hands? Yeah. Why are you washing your hands? It is smelling too much because of bathroom cleaner. It is smells so much. What's smelling? Bathroom cleaner smells. You're washing your hands with some type of bathroom cleaner? Oh, the bathroom cleaner smells so much on my hand, so I just wash my hand with water. Okay, okay. Do, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go to the living room. Can you take your phone with you? Yeah, I'm in the living room. Are you in the living room right now? Yeah. Okay, I want you to sit down on the sofa and just stay with me, okay? Okay. Are you sending someone? I am, but I want you to stay with me, okay? Okay. Don't hang up. What happened? Why did you do that? They are autistic. They are too much. Both of them are autistic? Yeah. Okay. I don't want my kid to be autistic. Okay. I killed both of them. Both of them were okay, sweetie. Well, just stay with me, okay? Is the front door unlocked to where my officer can get in? Turn on. I can open it. Well, just just unlock the door, okay? Okay. And then sit back down on the sofa and just talk to me, okay? Okay. Tell me what you're feeling. Nothing. You're not feeling nothing? Nothing. Okay. Are you sitting on the couch? Yeah. Okay. Can you do me a favor? What? When the when I tell you to, I want you to step outside to meet with my officer, but I want you to Stay put until I tell you, okay? We are have to stay in okay. the living room. Yeah, I see the police is already. Okay, just hold on, hold on, okay? My officer may need you to step outside and talk to him. I go outside? Yeah. Is your phone a cordless phone? Yes. Okay, with the phone in your hand, I want you to walk outside and meet with my officer. But stay on the phone with me. Okay. I'm coming. I just put. Put hey. I'm coming. Stay right there, Paul. Stay right there. Okay. Go ahead and put the phone down. Okay. Hey, go ahead and give me a hand and stick right there. Okay, I just. After a bit of difficulty breaking through the language barrier, in the end, the message that 30-year-old Saika Okter relays to 911 operators echoes loud and clear. In a tone that is so unsettlingly nonchalant, the caller describes in disturbing detail the effort she took to kill her own two children, 3-year-old Ferial and Ferial's 6-year-old brother Zane. But as if what Saika did wasn't disturbing enough, when asked as to why she had committed such an atrocious act, the stay-at-home mom and resident of Irving, Texas, Kelsey said it was because her children were both autistic. In her own words, quote, they're both autistic. I don't want children like that. I want normal children, end quote. When officers arrived at the apartment complex on Esther's Road, just south of the I-35, they discovered both children on top of Saika's bed. What Saika hadn't been too specific about was the antenna wire also located nearby, which was believed to have been the mother's plan B after the attempt at poisoning via toxic household cleaner and not properly panned out. Young Zane was dead on the scene, and his younger sister, Ferial, would actually be taken to the hospital. However, efforts to save her would prove futile, and it was on the following evening on Tuesday that the second of Saika's victims would also be pronounced dead and laid to rest beside her brother. While Zane had indeed been diagnosed with autism, one of Saika's uncles had expressed confusion as to why the mother believed the younger sibling was also autistic or quote-unquote not normal. By some accounts, it is said that the young girl did suffer from various ailments, primarily respiratory in nature, but there is no clear consensus among the public. The same uncle would also go on record to state that he'd suspected Saika had mental health issues ever since approximately 2007, and expressed the hope that he would get to see her get better. Not too long ago, Saika and her husband had emigrated from the States from Pakistan. In light of this fact, Saika's lawyer would later state the opinion that Saika was a woman and a mother who was obviously scared. She's from a different culture and doesn't understand our system very well, attorney Richard Franklin would state. 
Following a mental health evaluation, Saika would be diagnosed with schizophrenia. Subsequently, in 2014, the court declared her not guilty by reason of insanity. She would soon be transferred to the North Texas Hospital in Vernon, where she would undergo treatment expected by experts to last for a duration of at least several years. It still is a bit controversial as to how Saika could have been found to be insane under legal definitions when, as the tape proves, she both knew what she did and she further expressed knowing her actions were wrong. In addition to that, searches performed on Saika's computer to do with how to kill someone using household cleaners and such would only show that she had been contemplating the kids' deaths for at the very least four weeks.